Hey! <laughs> What's up guys? Y'all know why you're here. It's another unboxing. Family Flips, Market Street, Mystery Boxes, Electronics Mystery Box. Of course it's Electronics because we love Electronics. Tis the season. Hi there, my name is Joe. And I'm Jessica. We are homeschooling natural living entrepreneurs. This is a story of how we balance it all for the freedom to live our lives devoted to our family and faith. Thanks for stopping by, subscribe, and come on in. This season. And yes, I was just gonna say that. It makes really great Christmas gifts. I know we've bought many of these boxes before. We know that the products are going to be very decent, yeah. um, easily resellable. So I'm pretty stoked about it. Yeah. All right, so uh, we paid $242.10 for this box. Uh, we They're normally $269, and they have gone up in prices online. I think now they're $299. Uh, if you buy them in store, you can get them for $269. But there's a coupon code that we have that you can use. It's down in the description along with a link to Market Street Mystery Boxes. We paid $242.10 before the price went up after our 10% off discount code. Let's do it. I don't like to be on this side. It's weird. Quit cheating. Yeah. All right, first things first, I always pick the brightest things in the box. I don't know why I do that. I think it just attracts my attention more. Um, but I do have this wireless. It's not voice. It's voice. Voice. <laughs> voice. Wireless stereo headphones. Looks like a, a really great gift for like a, a child who likes headphones or a young a younger person. Yeah. Um, doesn't look too high quality, but definitely looks, it's brand new in box. Looks really great. So Sweet. there we go. I mean, I've got lots of various headphones here. Mm -hmm. uh, I think this is headphones. No, they're cat light pointers. <gasps> what? Yeah. So we're probably going to keep this play with Ollie. Put it in, in Ollie's video. stocking. We've got headphones, headphones. Uh, that's not a headphone. And a headphone here. So I'm actually been, we've got several of these in an unboxing recently. Uh, three of them and we sold all three. We're selling for like 10 bucks a piece. They sold relatively fast. So I'm excited about it because I know it'll sell quickly. Here's your thingy. Here's your thingy. Cat light. Cat light. I've got, whoops, I've got a three way soil meter. Neato. What does that do? Test, I believe, like the, uh, the dampness of it to let you know if you need to water it. I think it may do acidity alkaline, also. Alkaline, acidity, dry, wet, dark light. We may need to keep that for our garden uh, come uh, this spring and summer because we never know when to water. Just depends on how much it's worth. Yeah. Ooh. What is that? <gasps> a pocket. A mini folding pocket. I don't want to keep it. We had a bad experience last time. A mini pocket drone right here. Oh, it's so cool. And, uh, uh oh, the box is damaged a bit. So I don't know if it's been... Dun, dun, dun. Plus a screwdriver. I was excited when I saw it in the box. I'm like, ooh, that's brand new. But I don't know if it's brand new because uh, the way that box is. And... Uh, ah. We're losing batteries. Oh, that thing is small. So I guess this is for like your cell phone. It goes on the drone controller, and then the little drone. Where's the drone? It's on the controller right here. See that? It's so cute. See? It's a baby drone. Yeah, and it looks like it's been used, so uh, it'll have to be tested. Uh, but that's it right there, little it's drone. It's so cute. That's tiny. I would lose this in a heartbeat for a good, sure. A good gusty wind will take it away. Yeah. I tell you at the time, her dad got a drone that he was playing around with. I think it may have been the first Christmas or the first Thanksgiving that we were married. And uh, I got it stuck on top of a pine tree, like, I don't know, 60, 70 feet in the air. Uh, I felt so bad. My dad uh, was fine with it. <laughs> yeah. My dad's okay as long as uh, people are having fun and enjoying it. And then and then it became like with my dad, he would watch it every day until it fell out of the tree. And it finally did fall out. And he let us know. He was like, it fell out. It finally came out of the tree. Okay, I have 
What is this? Ooh, what is that? A radio controlled high speed racing boat. That Come looks on cool. Now. That's neat. Wow. So it's like, uh, it's not open. This box is slightly damaged. Oh yeah, it is. It's open. Yeah. The box. This could be good or bad. This box has seen better days. It's not terrible, but definitely like starting to to rip. And I don't want to rip it anymore. Oh. There goes the directions. The destructions. Let's see. So that hasn't been open there. It has. Because it's it's been pulled off the thing. Somebody unpulled it. Unpulled it? I don't think they've unpulled it and then pulled it back. Yes, they have. Okay. Do you want me to cut it? No. 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 Oh, hey, don't drop the controller. It's just hanging up there. Hey, oh, he. That's neato. I don't know. Do we have to test something like this? We need to look, inspect it, see if it's uh, if it looks like it's been used before. I pull it out, okay? This is neat looking. It's like, got a bunch of parts in here. I don't believe it's ever been used. It's got some parts right here. It's, it's got like never a little been charging in cable. That's like the way it's wrapped up with the uh, little cord there. It doesn't look like it's ever been uh, used. I mean, it's definitely been taken out though. Yeah. You can see fingerprints and markings on it. But I don't know. I don't know if that paint, the scuffing on the bottom is from them crash. It, it is. Like driving it. Yeah. So it looks like it has been drove before. Driven. Driven. So, smells like plastic. So it'll be one of those it, things. I don't think it's been in the water though. It's weird. I don't know. Yeah. Because sometimes you can get those telltale signs that something's been in the water. I, you know what? You know, it's safe to say though we'll probably sell it as used just because we don't want to risk. What's something like that even worse? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Together, together we can find out. Together we will. I mean, we will. need to know how much we potentially made or how much we possibly together lost. Together we will know. It's like an off-brand one. There's no UPC. There is one selling for $59.88. And that's brand new? Brand new. So brand new. That's what it sells for any sold. One pre-owned is sell sold for $29.99. So best case scenario, 30 bucks. I'm okay with that. Yeah. I'll take it. So we have more headphones. It's like we have, what is that? That's an earwax cleaner oh. complete set. Oh, are those those candle things? That's not headphones at all. No, but it goes there's in the same other, office. other headphones here. So we got the Wave neckband headphones. We've got some A8TWS headphones and some K OKG uh, True Wireless earbuds. We'll have to go through and inspect all of these. Uh, make sure that they work and uh, uh, that they haven't been used. And if they have, clean them up, sell them as used. So as we give prices for these a little bit later on, we'll give like best case scenario prices. I don't know. I don't know um, what exactly this is. I don't want to open it. Yeah. Um, but here you go. Interesting. I, I don't want to open it because it's, it's perfectly sealed. Easy, so. clean LED light. I have no idea. So you like put an a light down in I your ear? I don't know. I never recommend putting anything in your ears. It's cause... safe, easy, comfortable to use, and an economical alternative to a medical ear cleaning as to if it was to be performed by a doctor. What? <laughs> <laughs> we all get what they were trying yeah. to say. Um, I've got a modern home lighting. Oh, it's for the back of your TV. It lights up the back of your TV. That's neat. And you can light it up different colors. Oh, that's so neat. It, it's a light that goes on the back and then it's got a remote so you can change the color to Neato. suit your mood. So if you're watching sad movies, you can put it on blue. If you're watching like angry, like <laughs> action movies, you can put it on do red. Do people do that? I would. Uh, I would do it. I don't know. Would you do it? Because I would. I don't know. We got something in a familiar box. It's a lighter. Remember the last unboxing we did, I think oh, from yeah. them. It's a little Explore lighter, a little rugged. We actually sold one over the weekend, I think for $13.99 or $15.99. 
So it's a, uh, I wouldn't say hot commodity item, but it's an item that we will sell. It's so hard to dance. I worked out yesterday and we did like a whole bunch of back squats. So my booty hurts. So like every time I dance, I'm like, ooh, yeah. ooh, ooh. I got a box. A brown box, your favorite boxes. Ooh. All right, it is a, Drum roll, please. Code MJ79. Well, whatever it is, it's been taken out. Is this a barcode scanner? Boop. SIM code. Boop. It looks like it. How much is a barcode scanner worth? I mean, anywhere from 30 to 60, 70, 100 bucks. Haha, -ha, it's a wireless yeah. barcode scanner. Neato. Boop. Any resellers out there with a bin store, or not a bin store, but like a, a reselling store, maybe not a bin store, that'd be a lot of stuff you'd have to put bar. I mean, some people use that, you can like connect it to like your phone. There's different apps that you can have on your phone. So like if you scan books or you go to the store, you can use that to scan it. We could even probably use it for hours, like for our unboxings, hook it up to the cell phone and use that as a scanning <gasps> device. That would be neat. Yeah. Bubble wrap. Boobly wrap. But it has been opened and un, uh, so we don't know if it's brand new or it has been used. Looks like we have another one of those lighters, so that's even better because we've already got a listing for it and more headphones. This is crazy. Hey, look. More headphones, Impow neck band uh, Bluetooth earphones. So there's so many headphones. Hey, we didn't sell them. It's a, lot a of great year for yeah. it though. Alrighty, so lots and lots of headphones. So these four headphones here, I didn't do prices all individually. We're gonna make $54 off of these. They sell for various prices, 15 to $20. Uh, and then these two headphones here, this headphone here, uh, they look to be broken. So we're gonna make $0 off, off of it. And then we have these little uh, lightning headphones uh it's gonna be very difficult to sell them online because of the word lightning i don't know how else to describe them without using that word because it is copyrighted by apple uh but we could probably sell it a gar garage sell or in a mystery box and get like a dollar for it and then we have whoo, we have the wave headphones these are actually selling there's lots of them that are listed uh, and there has been one that sold for $40. Because there are so many listed, I'm gonna price ours at $29.99 and we should make $20 for them. And then we have these M-Pow, right here, that probably, M-Pow, this is a generation three. I guess they have gen five now, uh, but we should be able to sell these for $24.99. There's been many of these that are selling of the M-Pow. They're a very popular brand that does sell well. So we shall make $18 profit for it. Then we have the lighters, uh, which we've already sold one for $13.99, so that's what I'm gonna say for these. $13.99 should make $8 a piece for those, so that's $16 total. Then we have the Dussel ear cleaner. I guess there's an LED light, but then there's also other cleaning, uh, ear cleaning apparatuses. Uh, I couldn't find this exact one on eBay, but I did find it on Amazon and it is priced there at $11.99. So it's brand new. We'll try the same price on eBay and she will make around $6 profit after it sells. And then the cat eye, or the, not the cat eyes, the cat light pointers. There's only been one listed and sold on eBay and this is exactly how it sold. There's just a picture of this bag on the eBay listing. You'll see it on the screenshot. I thought it was very, very funny uh, that it sold just a bag like this uh, of the pitcher. And it sold for 12 bucks, so that's what we're gonna say on ours. We'll price it for 12 bucks, uh, get $7 profit off of it. And then the last item here is this drone. And um, this looks to have been previously used. There have been several new ones that have sold for like 38 50 uh, but this one has been used so we will test it and do all of those things as long as it works the way it's supposed to we'll price ours for $24.99 and should get around $17 profit for it 
All right, my turn, guys. All right, so first thing uh, that I unboxed was the headphones. As I expected, nothing too, too high quality, but very cute, great condition. These were selling between $19 and $22, and they were, in fact, selling. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and list them around the same. Hope to get about $12 for that. Um, the barcode scanner, um, they're selling $60 brand new. So I don't feel comfortable selling ours brand new because I don't know if it's brand new. Um, but I can sell it for $49.99. I think that's a fair price um, as long as it works and I should be able to get $38 or so dollars for that. Uh, and then these two items were not very high dollar items. Um, you know, together I should be able to get somewhere around $12 or $13 for the home lighting kit and the soil meter. Um, and then of course I have the really neat boat, uh, very cool boat. Oh, I dropped the instructions. I have to put those back in the box, but boat. Uh, so we'll sell it for $29.99 because, uh, use condition. I'm fine with that. Be able to make $15 for it total. So we've unboxed, um, let's see, he had about, so 18. So we, we've unboxed about. 18 items so far and we're right at $200 potential profit. So I'm feeling really good about this box. We still got plenty of stuff in here. Um, yeah, so let's keep going. It's a little chilly in this garage y'all. It's getting cold. It is. It's better cool than it is warm though. When it was hot in here, that was not fun. What? I think I like it better when it's hot. Not me. And it looks cold. It's like I can't move my fingers and my toes. It's not that cold in here, though. Not yet. All right, this is an LCD writing board. Uh, really great for, like, practicing writing, drawing, practicing, stuff like that. I think it's battery-powered, if I remember correctly. Um, and then you can just, like, draw on it and all that. So, very good little, like, stocking stuff for Christmas gift, but it won't yeah. cost a whole, whole lot. No, not very expensive. So, I've got a... I don't know why I'd say it looks like... It looks like it looks... I don't know. Digital voice recorder is what this item is. And uh, we've got one. Of, didn't we get one of these in the last unboxing? We did. It's not the exact same yeah. one, but yes, we did Ghost get one. listing mini digital. Sorry, I interrupted you. No, it's fine. By Hunt Lawton. Um, I have some wireless pro game controllers. Uh, what is this called? A Nintendo Switch? Yeah. Uh, so they're for the Nintendo Switch. Obviously, these are not uh, name brand. Yeah. But... Not bad. We did get a little charger in one. Uh, I don't know if that one's sold yet. And we could do a little bundle and bundle oh, them two yeah. together. That'd charger, cool. controller, and charger. So that'd be neat. We have uh, LED strip lights, RGB, red, green, blue. Red, and it green, looks blue. like these have been taken out of the box, but they don't look to have ever been used. And uh, so still wound up on the thing. It has nice. been taken out of the little baggie. Uh, but yeah, we'll plug it in, test it, make sure it works and sell it for some people love them strip lights. Yeah. I do. I like them. Yeah. But, uh, I mean, they're just really easy to install and they really add a lot. So that's really cool. I've got a ultrasonic skin scrubber. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> ultrasonic skin scrubber. How fast does that scrub your skin off? I have no idea, but I don't know how to get it out because it's like in there. It's got like this protective foamy thing. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's why they returned it. They, they can never, never get, get it out of the box. Oh my gosh. How about we do this? I got it, 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 I got it. Oh. What? Is that? What is that? Cleansing, moisturizing, lifting. The battery doesn't work. So I wonder if it's like a vibration thing and you can just... Ooh, I don't know how I feel about that. Y'all don't get any ideas. I'll do that little... What was it? The, the accelerator face, the percolator? Not the percolator in that a dance. Uh, I don't remember what it's called. It's chargeable. Does it come with a charging thing? I don't know that this has been used. It doesn't look like it. Yes, it does have a... A charging cable. And it has a charging cable yep. on it. So, interesting. Yeah, well, we'll test it. See what happens. Price it, grade it, price it, test it, list it, sell it, ship it. Yes. <laughs> Not the original packaging. <laughs> That's what it says on there. 
Okay, thank you for letting us know that. <laughs> It's, oh, it's one of the audio converter. So I guess they uh, bought it and then they sent it back and it was not the original packaging. And uh, they wrote all over it's it. It's got somebody's phone number on there. If you want to give them a call, I'll block some of it in case some of you people get an idea of like, maybe you want to know more about the history of this item. Why did you return it? Yeah, or you can like, you just have to guess the first three <laughs> numbers. Start with 001, <laughs> work your way up. I've got a Circer. What? Oh. Circer. Circer? Those hair clippers? Whatever they are, they're heavy and expensive oh. feeling. If they're heavy, then hair clippers that are heavy. Those are he Ooh, Are they heavy duty hair clippers? They're so gold. Those it's look neat. So gold. It's incredible. Oh man, this is like a weapon. This thing is like heavy. If it's heavy, we need to look up the price. I'm not seeing any hair clippings on there. No. Are you? I don't know how to turn it on. Is it wireless? Yeah. Yeah. I think this is the button. It's just not charged. Yeah. I mean, it's definitely, they took it out of the box. I'm not seeing any hair clippings or anything. I mean, it's possible. Who knows? Circer. Circer? Yeah, I'm actually seeing some hairs on there. Ew. Yeah. Ew. You know, sometimes we, our initial, like when we have to list the items. How'd you do that? Oh. So it does have some hairs on there, uh, not any bad hairs, just head hairs. Uh, but depending on how much these sell for, um, we might clean them up and uh, they feel heavy duty. Brand new, they're $35. Mm -hmm. They feel so much more expensive than that. That's a bummer. I thought it'd they be were more. promising. But that's okay, we can still make money off of something yep. like this for sure. It just might take longer to sell because people yeah. are going to want to spend the extra money for something new uh, for the most part. And uh, But, you know, it's it's product. We'll sell it. Looks like she had clippers for a human. I have clippers for a pet. Pet, oh. pet electric clipper. And uh, this has been used. Very heavily used. Yeah. Lots of pet hairs on it. And uh, so, yeah, I'm not going to take it out of the box. Um, see how much they're worth. They're pet clippers, so I'm sure people charge more for them because they're plet, plet, pet, plet, plet kicker. kickers. Pet, pet not kickers. Not pet kickers. Pet clippers. Pet clippers. Alrighty. I've got a thing. It, whatever it is, it's a money back guarantee. 30 days. It's an LED motion ah. sensor light. So you put like in the hallway or outside exterior. That's installation yeah. stuff. And uh, I'm not going to open it because it hasn't been opened. It's completely yeah. sealed. No, it's not. I was like, this is a weird thing to be sealed completely, but I wasn't going to judge. There you go. So you just stick it up there. Somebody walks by it. It goes, bling. What goes? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no bling, just. <laughs> AirPods case, you got a red one and a black one. Don't look to be very high dollar items. And then while she's still still for it, I may, I may I unbox something else. What do I want to do? Flawless. So a facial hair remover. And uh, we've gotten lots of these. They do sell. I think we've even got this exact brand uh, in the past. And uh, I have to deal with it later. I can't figure it out. <laughs> can't figure out how to get it back in the box. Ew. Yeah. Used? It's got some uh, some par particulates on there. Yeah, these aren't very expensive. So I'm not going to go through the time to get these cleaned up and ready to sell for an item that's only going to profit me maybe two dollars. I don't want to grab it up there. <laughs> so this unfortunately is going to have to uh, be recycled somehow or uh, disposed of properly. Properly. 
Uh, here's another another item or two. This is an R red, green, blue RED car What's strip car? light. So I guess you put it in your car, give it a co cool mood. A cool mood? Yeah. You know, if you're feeling blue, you just, you know, broke up with your boyfriend or girlfriend, you know. We you would can, always have it blue. You can put it on blue if you're feeling like a party. Not because we're always sad, because we like the blue. Look, it's blue. So it like, it's obviously been opened. This is a little crazy. Yeah. Uh, but it comes with four strips and a little button and you can turn it on you can change the color you can change adjust the brightness it looks like so that's pretty neat that is kind of cool um i don't think it's going to cost a whole whole lot you know i bet like a teenage boy with his first car might like something yeah. like this i would have had some of my black s10 back in the i day. mean i if our car our car actually has kind of like a little light thing at the bottom it plugs into the cigarette lighter for those of you who want to know um just so you know, we do post all of this stuff on our Shopify store. So if you go to www.thefamilyflips.com, you see something from this unboxing that you like, make sure you get it before it's gone. Yep. You ready to do some prizes? Yeah, let's do it. So the dog clippers, the dog clippers, you know, they had been used, not heavily, but like they had been like, they cut some doggies hairs. Uh, they're actually selling for a lot. I was right. Uh, that uh, dog stuff just always sells more uh, and they're like pretty much just like people human clippers but there have been used ones that have sold for $31.99 there are new ones that are selling anywhere from 30 to 50 of the same brand I have no idea why some are brand new selling for 30 then some are brand new are selling for 50 and then a pre-owned one sold for $31.99 I have no idea it's strange it happens sometimes uh, that's why it's always best to shop around do some sorting by price because you could probably find the same item cheaper. Uh, but we're going to clean ours up, price it for $29.99. It'll spend a little bit more. We will spend a little bit more in labor getting it ready. But $29.99, we should make $20 profit for it. Then the LED strip lights. This is a 16 foot. The longer, the better in this uh, strip lights, more money. So this should sell for $12.99, should make us $7 profit for it. And then, then we had the, not the original packaging box. Remember, it was the little audio converter box. These are selling for $15.99. Uh, so we'll sell ours for the same price. Should make $10 cold hard cash. We have the two AirPod cases. These are only selling for like $3 a piece and they're coming from China. I, there's no way that we could sell them for that, so I don't even know if we'll sell them uh, online because even if we did two for like six dollars, it's still not much money for us. There's like we would actually be losing money to try to sell them online, so we'll put them in a garage sale box, maybe get a quarter out of it. I don't know. I counted it as a zero for the unboxing purpose. And then we have the digital voice recorder, the Hunt Lawton. There has not been any of these sold of this particular brand. There are four different ones listed. So we'll mash ours up in the listing, uh, get in the game. We'll price ours at $17.99. Hopes to make around $11 profit if and when it sells. All right, guys. Let's do it. Let's do it. Y'all like my oversized hoodie? I don't know where I got it from, but I've had it forever. And it's my favorite because it's so comfy. Um, Y'all didn't need to know that. Let's move on. All right, so Nintendo Switch guy, the, the controller, selling for about $21. I tried to find this exact one because there's so many different kinds out there, so I wanted to get kind of a, a good price comp. So about $20, $21. I should be able to make $14 on this guy. Um, the Ultrasonic Skin Scrubber. Um, so brand new, these are selling $10 to $16. The problem is, is I don't know if this is used or not. Um, and if it was used, then I'd have to take at least 50% off the sales price, which means it wouldn't even be profitable to sell um, online. So I'm just going to count this as a zero. Uh, I'm not quite sure what we're going to do with it um, or if we're going to try and sell it like at a garage sale. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But uh, the Ultrasonic Skin Scrubber is zero dollars. 
Um, and then of course we had the the Circer. Circer. These were used. They were selling for 35. So we are going to try and clean these up. We're already going to be doing it for the dog clippers. So we're going to try and do it for these two. Sell it for like $24.99 used condition and hope to make about $10 off of it. Um, and then the rest of these guys here, um, you know, the, the writing tablet, this is going to be a garage sale item. It's not selling for more than, you know, nine, ten dollars. Um, the, the LED car light strip, actually, this is kind of neat. I, when I looked it up, I discovered that this actually is, uh, can be controlled by an app on your phone. Not necessarily, cause I was wondering like you install it and then you got to find the, that's kind of a lot, but no, the, this actually is app controlled. So that's kind of cool. Selling for $25. Um, uh, $17 possibly profit after shipping and fees. So that's really great. Great Christmas present. Um, and then the motion sensor light is actually selling for $23. I didn't know that. I guess it's just the way that it's installed. Um, so yeah, it's a motion sensor light, $23. We should be able to make $15. So all of my stuff together, uh, is about $57. So it's not a whole, whole lot, but I've got some really great news. So we're about 29 items in, um, over both rounds for both of us and all together we're at a potential profit so far of three hundred and four dollars so we've already surpassed our uh initial investment so that's super exciting and we still got plenty of stuff in the box so let's keep going <laughs> weird nah. things come out after we've been doing this for a little while <laughs> um weird things come out in general like no they don't you know that you know that that saying that like you know when you marry your best friend like you know it's like a sleepover every single night like we really do have fun we've been really into uh watching <laughs> survivor survivor so we watch an episode a night before we go to bed ha ho ha ha so <laughs> What's that from? Uh, Finding Nemo? Who are you? Do you even have kids? <laughs> yes, but I still haven't seen Frozen all the way through yet. And I have two girls. Alright, I got this. She has it. I don't know what it is. Uh, it's in a different language. Wait. It is. Outdoor waterproof Bluetooth speaker. That's the only thing that's on here that isn't in another language. So I it think it's Japanese. Neat. I think it's Japanese. I don't yeah. claim to know a lot of languages, but it looks that they all have slightly different characters to me. So, but this one looks, yep, yeah, that's it. <laughs> I have some Vivitar Bluetooth headphones and uh those look cool though yeah ten dollars uh msrp there's so many headphones i don't know where to begin <laughs> there are more wireless earbuds We've had some of those i think we just sold some and a smart watch so wow that is that's the first smart watch we've had this. usually we get a lot of smart yeah. that looks nice it's still got the protective uh thing on it too so that looks nice and then the headphones see they've been used or open so let me look and see because you can tell because the way it's in here you got this the charging cable that's just kind of sitting in here I don't feel like a manufacturer would do that I just don't think so there's hand there fingerprints on it um no I don't know earwax. why I'm no earwax that one's good no earwax I mean it could be something as simple as they tried them out they didn't fit their yeah. ears right and I it still has is that like the blue uh protective tape on yes it? okay so so there's a protective tape here that protects the charging case so that it doesn't like you know wear out because it's just sitting in here yeah. uh so obviously they haven't been used heavily but they've definitely been purchased and returned could be something as simple as you know they didn't like them yeah so, those two items there your turn all righty so it's like we have a flexible led strip um light up your yeah, emotions. indoor use only it looks like it's just the strip so i think 9.99 is what i'm guessing that'd be a good guess yep um made in china whatever it is and i don't know what it could be <laughs> what is Ooh, it there's lots of wires, wires? wires in a plastic bag. Oh, I know what it is. 
Oh, it's a, it's a, um. That's not what I was gonna guess. It DVD kind of player? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's no telling. I mean, okay, so I'm looking at this. It's got, it's obviously got a remote. It's got these wires. And then it's got this unit here. Um, it has an on off mode volume buttons an SD card USB button or USB like port and then it's got is this a screen like I don't know that looks like a it is so it's a screen I don't know if it's a touch screen so I don't actually know what it is I don't know what we need all of this stuff the name is iron peas <laughs> Uh, okay, Iron P's car stereo. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah, Iron P's car stereo. I'm like trying to figure out how to put it back in the box. Right I know now. it's a puzzle. Yeah. This goes. This protects the. Yep. 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 On the side. You got it. You got it. You got it. Got it, Ben. We have a battery case for an iPhone 7 Plus or iPhone 8 Plus. It's just one of those little cases. It could be a battery also. And then a tripod. Tripod. And, uh, and a clicker. And a little bit of clicker. These the clicker are nice. The pictures. I like this tripod, especially when I'm using the GoPro and I'm filming stuff because it's got the little thing that bends like you can wrap it around poles and shelves and all kinds of stuff so i like it for creative filming uh i have a red and black case headphones <gasps> headphones <laughs> man there's so many headphones in this box there's a lot of headphones this doesn't look to be heavily used or anything uh definitely been purchased because a manufacturer would not wrap it up like this. This was carefully put back though. Whoever returned it was very thoughtful, uh, which I always appreciate. Yeah. Always appreciate. What's that? It's a bag. You have to open it because you don't know what's in it. I have no clue. You can do this. Come on, fingers. You can do it. Uh, it's a uh, <laughs> LED strip okay, lights right yeah. there, and uh, uh, but uh, <laughs> finding the brand and uh, all that good stuff because all we have is that little white label, and uh, no, you might have it on that white thing, that white piece of paper. I don't know exactly how long this is. This may be a complicated situation trying to get this listed and sold. 62 inches. I have a hot hot coffee. <laughs> hot coffee. Eyelash curler. Release your beauty. Oh. <laughs> oh, me, my beauty already done been but release. Ready, been released. It looks like a thermometer. That looks terrifying. This has been used. Yeah, that does look terrifying. There's an oh, I just imagine what it would be like. <laughs> my eye, eyelashes with that. So, boom, you can see on there. There's some black ickies on there. So, who did the last one? You did. Okay, your turn. I get that one too. I don't know what this. All right, so we got three items here. We got a battery case. Not really excited about this. These do not sell well at all. Uh, looks like we have a returned Kuspoo. Uh, Kuspoo, obviously. Uh, it's probably gonna be going in the garbage. And a AC adapter for I have no idea what. Mm. Um, Maybe just an AC adapter in general. Looks like okay. At least it's for a Type C charger. So. Type C phone, maybe for like a MacBook, like the new MacBooks, so they use they use Type C. But it has been purchased and used before, so I can't imagine it being worth very much at all. So, which is a little disappointing. 
we've got two items left one of them is this one it is UB size which I've seen this brand before I believe it's uh, camera equipment I think yeah if I remember correctly that this brand is an off brand a it is pod. it's a tripod not a tree pod a tree pod is different than a tripod <laughs> no yawning Cool. No. I did though not for surely we could have used all these tripods a while back but we went and bought a brand new one <laughs> and we've been getting tripods galore ever since then uh yeah so it's just a basic tripod stand it doesn't look to be broken even really used it's in great condition the plastic looks good it smells brand new so i'm not gonna bother taking it all the way out of the bag uh but yeah i'll price it for you let you know how much it's worth we almost made it the whole video without smelling something and then jessica just ruined it oh the we'll second, never make it second through. to the last item we have a rove rov top rove top uh, it's a big box. I don't think I've ever seen a box this big in one of these electronics boxes before. And uh, big money, big money. Oh, boxes and boxes. Oh, it's ring light. Ah. Oh. Yep. It's like a bigger one too. Big, nice. a big ring light. I don't know what size that is. And uh, looks to have been used before. It's because not ginormous. Maybe no. eight, twelve, no, ten, ten inches. Does it say? It's probably twelve inch. It doesn't say. But uh, there's no way that they would put this like that in there. But it does have the box. It's got the stand and a uh, bunch of little gadgets. So it's been new. It's been used before and returned. So that definitely does hurt the resale value. So last items, the Rav Top, the 10 inch LED ring light. It does work. I plugged it in and tested it. Uh, these are only selling for $35 brand new. Uh, there's no way that we can sell it online for profit because it's gonna cost, you know, probably 12 or 13 bucks to ship it to California. Maybe 10 if we use FedEx. Uh, so we're probably gonna end up trying to sell this locally for $20. Uh, I'll meet somebody for 20 bucks. We may always keep it at the same time too. I don't know just because we need ring lights from time to time, but we'll say 20 bucks if we do sell it. And then we've got lots of other items that we're going to have a really hard time selling this LED strip lights. If we can find the manufacturer to find the brand on this, be able to list it, the, not really the brand, because that doesn't really matter. We can sell it as unbranded, but the length. So we need to know the length and whether these are uh like flashing or if they do any of that special stuff because that will determine how much it's worth but we can say 9.99 at the least and then we've got the little uh, uh tripod thingy i couldn't think of the name and then a little case there and the other battery case and the other acd ac adapter we'll end up selling those at a garage sale for like a dollar if we are able to sell the stuff. I don't know, because some of the stuff's kind of old. People don't really use it. Uh, and they're only selling for like eight, nine bucks online. So uh, then we have the Vivitar headphones, same thing. They're priced for $10. There's several that are listed for like 15 to $20 on eBay, but nobody's buying them for that price. The only ones that have sold, have sold for like $8 and like $7. There's no way that we're gonna sell this size box for that price online and make any money so we'll end up probably selling it locally maybe we'll gift it to somebody for christmas i don't know uh we will see but if we were selling a garage sale we could probably get two dollars for it and then we have uh led strip light i did find this it is selling for like 14 dollars and some change so we'll be able to sell it for the same price and make seven dollars on it so yeah that's my items all right, my friends, I've got the last the last round for you. So uh, first thing I saw and I looked up was this uh, W King uh, outdoor waterproof Bluetooth speaker. Uh, it was selling for about 50 bucks. So I was really excited about that. This is brand new. It has not been opened. Um, the integrity of the box is fine. So uh, 50 bucks. So we should be able to make $40 off of this. Um, the uh, car speaker the installed car speaker I couldn't find this exact one there really isn't a whole lot of information 
Um, but I did find the name brand uh, after pulling the instructions out. Um, so I was able to find something very, very similar on walmart.com. Uh, so it's going to be somewhere around this $58. Um, of course, we're going to need to do a lot more research to find out like specs and things like that. But if it is around that much, uh, we should expect to make about $38 after shipping and fees. Um, and then, of course, I have the tripod. Um, I don't know if we personally will sell it. Um, we always need extra tripods and things like that. Um, but if we were to sell it, I do want to give you guys a very accurate depiction of what you would expect to find. So if we were to sell it, we'd probably sell it for about $23. And um, that's what they're selling for online, uh, with the case. And then we should be able to make, uh, $10 off of it. And the rest of these items, I have these two sets of headphones, both of which are selling somewhere around $20 brand new. I'm not 100% certain that these are brand new. So we would sell them if they're good, if they work, um, if we clean them up, we would sell them for maybe $13.99 um, and be able to make $7 a piece on these. And pretty much the same process with this watch. Um, it, it's not name brand. There is no instruction manual inside this box. So I, there's not much I know about it. So, you know, we'd have to test it out and see. But the average smartwatch that looks like this with the touch screen, they're selling for about $15. So if I can sell it for that much, I should be able to make $8. So that being said, let me bring Joe back in here and we will do our final totals for you. All right, guys, you ready for the numbers? Cause I am ready for the numbers. Yeah. So this is one of those deals where it's like liquidation is a long game. Sometimes you hit home runs, some of you hit triples, sometimes you hit just a single, and today is one of those days. So we did the math, and potential revenue after shipping in fees, $438. Mm -hmm. So remember, we paid $242 for this box, and um, so that leaves us at right around $196 potential profit before we pay Whitney and Wally to get all of this listed for us. So for us, Personally, we're only looking at about $106 profit, and that's if everything works. So so this is something that I always want to make sure that we talk about here because, you know, we we want to be able to show the really good palettes and the really exciting palettes but we, and, and lots, but we yeah. also want to make sure that we're showing the mediocre ones and the ones that we lose money on. It doesn't matter how many years you've been reselling. It doesn't matter how many years you are buying these boxes. Sometimes... It just turns out this way. And so if you are the kind of person that is okay with that kind of risk, reselling is definitely a great way to earn money. But if you want a surefire thing, this will never be surefire for yeah. you. Uh, wholesale would be yeah. and private label would be. So if you want to sell something or sell a product that you can guarantee will be good, then you can absolutely go down that avenue. But reselling will always have risk, especially when you are sourcing the way that we do in terms of buying pallets and lots. So, yeah. And I know this is our fifth time that we've bought this Market Street mystery box. Mm -hmm. The other four, we've all doubled. I think the last box we opened up, we actually almost tripled our money. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just, it is what it is. Will we keep buying from them? Yes, mm -hmm. it would be stupid to stop buying them from one box that just didn't perform very well because we know it's liquidation and sometimes it happens if we were to if they had to guarantee if the liquidator took the time to guarantee that every box would be good then that means they're pricing the items on their own if they're pricing the items on their own then they might as well be selling those items or cherry picking those items off the top exactly. i will take a mediocre box and a whole bunch of really good boxes any day because it means that this stuff has not been picked through. Yeah. It means that it has been put in a box that is truly a mystery box and I am okay with that. It is a good business decision for us. Yeah. So we hope you guys have enjoyed watching this unboxing. We love doing unboxings with you. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, be sure to do that because we, unbox we release unboxings every single week. Um, and if you're interested to see how we sell these items, how these items sell, make sure you check out our vlogs as well. Until next time, friends. Peace. Get in the zone. The auto zone. I knew you were going to say that. Get in the zone. Auto zone. That's not even how it goes, I don't think. How's it go? Get in the zone. Auto zone. I feel like it's like higher. Like, auto zone. No, no.
like that. Not like that? No. Uh, get in the zone. It doesn't matter. Hey, every... No, that was weird. Hold on. Uh, hello. No, that's weird, too. Why is this so awkward? <laughs> okay. We haven't done it in, like, a week. Welcome back! It's another Family Flips <laughs> unboxing. Hey. Maybe if I stand over here. Is that working better for you? Oh, I belched. Excuse me. She belched. She's a belcher. Alright, ready? Okay. We'll just put it back down. That okay. didn't happen. That didn't happen. Mom's cheater. 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 <laughs> Alrighty. Well, I'm faster than you because uh, I type faster. Oh, we're filming. Alright. How long have we been recording? Well, I can't. I can't light myself up. So you I had this, to make. You, go. <laughs> you can go like that. <laughs> well, she's fiddle farting with that. Fiddle farting. That's such a yeah new but, thing to say. And then the LED. Sorry. Good job, babe. I'm proud of you. It's a great yeah. way for us to like bond outside of like business and parenting. And so we started, we're starting back at season one. We watched season 28 because it was on yeah. Netflix. And then we started watching on Hulu and we don't have Hulu ad free. We've got like the ESPN, Disney, Hulu bundle and they were showing commercials and we were like, forget mm -hmm. this. So we try to watch season 20. I watched one episode. But it was like all the old people from previous seasons had come back. We're like, we yeah. don't know these people. No, we got to reinvest. We started yeah. back at season one. So I don't know why y'all need to know that, but there you go. Hey, you get to know stuff about us. <laughs> First thing I have is, this is kind of cool. Outdoor waterproof. Uh, we got a call from uh, people. Okay. We'll be right back. Sorry guys. Back to our regular schedule. Back. I guess they wouldn't know that. You wouldn't know we're back. The editors are. But we're back from. I, we were just having, I don't know, a phone yeah. call. All right. Uh, so, I don't know. I guess I'll just start from the beginning of picking this up. Yes. Okay. All right, let's go. Have fun with that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I guess the beauty. All ready been released. It's not unleashed already until your eyelashes released. have been curled. All Black ickies. And I doubt it's going to sell for very much. Yeah. So we'll just put that off to the side. Yep. Stop. We got to change the batteries. <laughs> we are recording. Okay. 